morning and welcome once again to our thought for the day. I want to read you the same verse I read yesterday in Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman of the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. People of responsibility. That's what God has made you and made me for the time in which we live. What a great responsibility it is. Yesterday we looked at the great privilege that is ours to keep a lookout for what Satan, the enemy of our souls, is doing in the day in which we live. And if you seek the scripture, friends, you will be alert for Christ. For the Bible says that we are not ignorant of his devices. And so if we're not ignorant of his devices, we must be vigilant and seek his face and point men and women to Christ. You see, the Lord has given us a message of warning for the time in which we live. But are you delivering that message? And if you're not delivering the message, then when the wicked men and women shall die in their iniquity, the Bible simply says that their blood shall be required at your hand. That's the responsibility that we have, you see. Our duty is to be watchmen to our family, to our neighborhood, to our office, to our factory, on the shop floor. God help us to do this, friends, in a way that is pleasing to him. You see, there was a watchman in the New Testament. His name was Paul. And he said in Acts chapter 20, verse 26, he says, Wherefore, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Paul was showing what a true watchman does. He was pure. He was clear because he delivered the message. And the preacher is a watchman. As he preaches and gives the gospel, so is the true child of God. Uh, 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 and you must be on watch. And you must be a witness to others. You must be on watch for the deadliest enemy. Sometimes can come even as an angel of light. And we've got to be able, friends, to tell when he comes. Otherwise, we are useless. You see, Isaiah complained about the watchmen of his day. Listen to what he says in Isaiah 56 and 10. He says his watchmen were blind. They were ignorant. They were dumb dogs. They couldn't even talk. What use is a dog if it doesn't even bark? God help us, friends, to warn of the day that is approaching, the day of the Lord. We read of the master watchman himself, Jesus, the divine Son of God. And he says to, in John chapter 4, and verse 4, he says, He must needs go through Samaria. Why? Because he saw every day a woman of Samaria coming each day to the well alone to avoid her neighbours. And so Jesus goes through Samaria and he sits and he waits at the well. Isn't it incredible, friends, that Jesus waits for the sinner? Thank God he waited for you. And thank God he waited for me. The master waited and told her all things. He warned her and he saved her. And she went and told the elders of the city, do you know what she said? She said, come see a man that told me all things that I ever did. Is not this the Christ? Oh, this woman had led a very sinful life. She had five husbands and she was now with another man, which made six. But now she was to meet with the seventh man. And this man was the perfect man. This was the divine son of God. And he was trying to transform her life. Friends, seek opportunity to tell men and women of Christ. See lives changed through the power of God and made ready for Christ's coming. God help us to be good watchmen, alert, awake, and active for the Master. May we be able to stand before Christ and say we took our responsibility the way that he wanted us to. God bless you. Look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow.